the region in the xy plane bounded by the lines x equals 1 and x equals 3 and y equals 2 and y equals natural log x form the base of a solid. So this region right in here is the base of a solid figure. Each cross section of the solid perpendicular to the x-axis is a square. What is the volume of the solid? Okay, so we're going to imagine this region right here extending out of the screen to form a solid figure, but each cross section of the solid perpendicular to the x-axis will have to be a square. So if I draw a little piece of this, this uh, area in the plane, here's one little tiny piece of the area, and I'll call it dA. Imagine that piece extending out of the screen a distance equal to its height right there. We want to find the volume of that little piece. Well, let's start by finding that area, dA. It has a certain height and a certain width, and that area will be height times width. And the height is just going to be the high value minus the low value. So that's a y equals 2 minus uh, the value down here is natural log x. So the height of this little area is 2 minus natural log of x, and the width is dx. Now this height right here, we need to multiply by that again, because we're, the dv that we have is going to be a three-dimensional figure, a little three-dimensional slab, and it's going to have a height here, right there, that's equal to that, and it's going to extend out of the screen that far as well. So dv will be that squared, 2 minus ln x squared times dx. And then we just need to integrate that from 1 to 3, and we're done. So the volume is the integral from 1 to 3 of 2 minus the natural log of x squared dx. And you put that on the calculator, and it comes out to 3.85.